for the weather in, in 91, we don't have, again, this gulf scouring uh, that's occurring. We don't have a blocking high that's trying to prevent moisture from returning. We were getting nice moisture feeds from the south. Troughs were coming in very nice. You know, they weren't the polar outbreaks. These were nice progressive troughs, not a stalled trough, but a progressing trough. And April 26, 91 looked good several days in advance. In fact, I told Carson, you know, if you can get off work, I don't know what, what weekday it was or whatever, but, uh, you know, if you, if you get off work, let's team up. And then Phil Sherman said, hey, I can go. And I said, okay, well, we have to have a way of, of getting another vehicle. Well, I just happened to hire a new meteorologist slash engineer at Hague, and he wanted to go too. So I said, well, let's just take two cars. You know, one had to be back like the night, that night or something. And Carson said he didn't, didn't mind staying over or something. So F Carson was able to take off on Friday. We were able to bridge a weekend. So it really looked volatile. We got an early, early start. I mean, we were like crossing the uh, Oklahoma City bef uh, before noon. We were up in Oklahoma City before noon. We got up early and got out. And then we got up into northern Oklahoma, and it's like, how far north is too far? You, know, you get victimized by the cap if you're too far south. And if you're north, then storms can come to you. So this is the old strategy game you got to play. So we figured that it'd be best if we just get into just get into southern Kansas and see what happens as the day progresses. And of course, as the day progressed, and we were able to watch the Weather Channel, uh, we were able to see where the echoes were developing, and there were several of them. I mean, our, we had the one southwest of us, and we had the one in Oklahoma, and it's like, well, the one. South in southern Kansas was close to us. Let's just go over to Argonia, Freeport area. Let's see what happens there, you know. And that's when the the, the fun began. I mean, we no sooner did we get there, there was a tornado on the ground. The first of many that day. We filmed the tornado that came across. Let's see, it started southeast of Clearwater, crossed the highway, went up to Hayesville, hit the, clipped the northwest end of Hayesville, and took a turn. Went through South Wichita. We're following it the whole way. Then we get, uh, it crosses I-35, and it's going through McConnell Air Force Base. So we got on the interstate right behind the tornado, and we drove up, and right there in South Wichita, just before the split to go into the city or continue on up in Northeast, there's these high tension lines, and they came down right across the interstate and just like a huge barrier uh, power lines every foot all the way up for to about five feet we couldn't go any further we watched the tornado we had good visibility of it watched the tornado go through and then into andover our chase was in essence over there were no other cells south of us we were thinking about going down red rock but that's already crossed the highway so we want to do maybe a damage survey right quick. So we got down. People were running out of their houses. Uh, there were people screaming, shouting, yelling. Um, and we wanted to see if there's anybody injured or anything like that. Everybody was okay. They were just upset by the fact that their house is no longer there. So we wanted to see if anybody was in their basement. Because one of the big problems that happened there, and we noticed, was when the houses were wiped off, the foundation it broke the plumbing and the basements were filling up with water and there's a lot of debris in those basements so it's like if anybody's trapped down there they're going to drown so we want to make sure that everybody's okay and everybody was okay so we still decided to go chasing and after we made sure that people in the local area was okay we went southeast towards bartlesville and tried to intercept those storms coming up out of out of red rock but it was already dark by then we decided we were not going to deal with nighttime chasing, and we went behind the storm that uh, came out of of Red Rock and went over towards Bartlesville. Yeah, and you drove home that night. I believe we did. Yes. When did you get home? Probably very, very late. Three in the morning. Or yes. Something? Yeah. Carson is an amazing driver. He could drive all night without a problem. Um, tremendous endurance. Yeah, a very quiet individual, right? 
right? He doesn't. Carson is a wonderful. <laughs> he doesn't argue with you or anything. And if you miss one, you know, like you're on the wrong storm, he doesn't let you know about it either. I mean, he's very quiet. He's very serious about storm chasing. Definitely wants to get out there and knows that you're going to miss more than you catch. He knows that. 